Hello and welcome to the page. I am Lynn Shaw of Two Girls in a Book, popping in to share with you an unboxing with Monster Ivy Publishing. I am doing a quick retake on this one because I did a live video last Saturday and the only thing that posted to the live was a cover of the book and that's it. And trust me, this is a fantastic book. I absolutely love it. The boxing unboxing was so much fun that I had to come back and do it all over again. So let's dive right in. We open the box. This is what we get in the mail. There are black feathers in this box. There are still pieces of them flying everywhere. Okay, so you get the Monster Ivy Publishing box. Very nice. Very nice. And each box comes curated specifically for the book that is included inside. These boxes are gorgeous. If you are fortunate enough to win one from Monster Ivy, you're definitely going to want to keep it. So it has their publishing logo, edgy and clean, listed right there on the box. And then, ta-da! Check that out. Isn't that gorgeous? I love the inside of these books. They are amazing boxes. I can't talk today boxes. <sighs> so excited. So inside of the box is a note from the publisher, a note from the author, as well as items curated specifically to the theme of the book. So yay, let's dive right in. The first thing you get in your Monster Ivy box is a letter from the publisher. And it says, read me first. So it's a quick little note from Monster Ivy and it says congrats on winning the girl at the hanging tree book box. We sincerely hope you like it. All the items tied to the book in some way you'll have to be on the lookout to see. Thanks for reading and if you leave a review of the book that would be amazing. So yay! Now the book that is featured in this particular box giveaway is the girl at the hanging tree by Mary Gray and I actually received an ARC copy of this back in August so I've already done a review and everything of this book I highly recommend the girl at the hanging tree this is one of the best books I have ever read and it is absolutely going down as my top favorite read for 2020 let me tell you a little bit about it <clears throat> It's The Girl of the Hanging Tree by Mary Gray. The devil wears many faces in Deep Creek, Texas. Gemma Louise has two personalities. One is herself, easygoing, curious, and travel hungry. The other is a dictatorial other <clears throat> the other half is a dictatorial half named Tansy, who only lets Gemma come out of their Victoria mansion to do the shopping every two weeks. Gemma also has amnesia. And Tansy's too busy painting macabre art to be forthcoming about their past. The town speaks to Gemma about a Mr. Harden, and it doesn't take her long to learn that she was married to the oil tycoon before he mysteriously went missing. <clears throat> Excuse me, I got the crud. <clears throat> While Gemma begs Tansy to tell her more about their life with the handsome stranger, Gemma soon learns that the town harbors a secret society. And Mr. Harden, he was the society's leader. If Gemma can't figure out what happened while maintaining, while maintaining her volatile relationship with Tansy, the town will assume that Gemma killed Mr. Harden. And even more altars will take root in her already crowded mind. An acutely observed psychological thriller that plunges into the daunting abyss of mental illness, community indoctrination, and cult group mind. The Girl at the Hanging Tree deals with um, a lot of hot topics right now. It deals with racism, 
it deals with mental illness and it also deals with the KKK. Again, this author took a very complex and very volatile story and she handled it with grace and dignity. I cannot say enough fantastic things about the girl at the hanging tree. You definitely want to pick this up. It's available um, at all major retailers. Um, you can also go to monsterivy.com and click on the cover and you will get a link to all the places that the book is available in both ebook and paperback and hardback. So diving back in to the box, it came filled with black feathers. I vacuumed for two days getting up dust from black feathers, but it was worth it. And it's perfect for the book. Trust me. So included in with the book is always a character art. So this is some character art showing Gemma and Mr. Harden. And when you dive into the story, you will find out that and this isn't too much of a spoiler. She's actually married to Mr. Harden. So dun, 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 the plot thickens. <clears throat> you also get along with the book box. This gorgeous envelope. And inside is a letter from the author on this beautiful paper. And it tells you a little bit about the story and gives you some insight into it as well as um, some information on the loot that is included in the box and how it pertains to the story. So let's dive right in to this note from the author, Mary Gray. Dear reader, oh my goodness, you won the book box. Yay! My thoughts exactly. Whew. This book was intimidating to write. Super fun, but also hard. I balance two delicate topics in this book, baby, mental illness and racial inequality. I feel that both of these topics are important for us to educate ourselves on, and I also wanted to entertain. I hope you find that I have some heartfelt messages in here while constantly wanting to keep you on the edge of your seat. Y'all, she nailed it. Trust me. Now, she goes into a few of the items included in the box. And this is my favorite part. <clears throat> the gloves. Check out the detailing on those gloves. The gloves are representative of Tansy. You'll see that she wishes that she lived during the Victorian age and that she has a love for spoons and the only thing she eats is split pea soup and she drinks chamomile lemon tea. Check it out. How fancy is that? I just love it. Now, Gemma likes to be a hermit and stay indoors and never leave home. She only allows Gemma to come out and play every few weeks, and that is to go out and pick up groceries, supplies for the house. While she's home, she likes to dress fancy, and she likes to paint macabre paintings and do different art projects and crafts around the house, which is why her split pea soup we also have a spoon bookmark for you. It says fell asleep here and it has these adorable moon and stars on there. I mean, how cute is that? Love it. And it is from Silver Lining Stamping. It's handmade in Oak Island, North Carolina. You can find them on Facebook and on Etsy at Silver Lining Stamping cute little card. Yay. Now, 
Gemma loves wildflowers, so we had to have some of those. Gemma, special someone smells like cedar wood, hence the candle. So first we have this gorgeous little spray of dried flowers. It has um, baby's breath and roses and what I think is lavender. And it it smells amazing and it is so stinking cute. That's going to be a great little piece to have for when I'm doing um, groupings and photos for Instagram. So super excited about that. There is also a candle included. Ta-da! A tansy moment. Um, <laughs> included as well. They are from Lumineer Candle Company. And it says the girl at the hanging tree on there. And the scent is a balsam and cedar. It's a hand poured soy candle. Smells amazing. Absolutely love candles. Can't go wrong. <clears throat> and they are um, handmade, I believe. I'm not, you know what? Don't quote me on that. Back up. Okay, the necklace is from an adorable antique shop in Richmond, Texas, and they are representative of something that Tansy would wear. Gemma is absolutely tired of all things jewelry. So I am definitely Tansy in that I like to be dressed up whether I am sitting at home or I'm out in public. Now, don't get me wrong, I love a good pair of pajamas and I love lounging around the house, but sometimes I just want to be extra pretty and it just makes you feel good to be dressy. So I can relate to Tansy in that respect. Now, I'm not a split pea soup eater. I'm more of a potato soup kind of gal, but the spoon will come in handy, <laughs> not for soup but for reading. So that takes care of the letter from the author. And I think I have showed you guys everything. Hopefully this video recorded properly and everything will go off without a hitch. Thank you so much for joining me for this unboxing from Monster Ivy Publishing. Make sure you visit them at monsterivy.com. You guys have a fantastic evening and I will see you on Thursday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time for Fangirl Thursday.